Okay, so now it's recording. So welcome to the class. So, do you have a book, or do you know how to access the uh, ebook? Okay, so you know how to access it. Okay, the book is decent, so you probably use it to do the assignments. Um, so you know, um, you might want to refer to the sections if you're stuck, or you can always email me and ask me. But it's pretty self-explanatory, so I won't be doing the lectures because they're in the um, what's it in Angel, and I'll give you some notes to help you with the assignment. And so in this session, I'm just going to point out some few things that might be confusing to the students. But other than that, I'll, it's pretty self-paced, like self-explanatory. So. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing the lecture session. Do you have a calculator you can use, or do you know how to use a calculator yourself? Maybe your phone, or you have a separate calculator? Do you have any issues with the calculator? No, it's it's very easy. <laughs> so nothing to be uh, worried about. Uh, it's I taught it. I haven't taught it recently, but I taught it before, and it's pretty straightforward, so nothing crazy. And I give you most of the information you need to do um, the assignments, like the math part. Yeah, so like the math part, I, I'll explain it to you, but then most of the time it's like, it comes from the reading, and then you kind of do logical thinking kind of thing. So for that part, I'll have you guys do your own reading, you know, but for the math part, I'll. I'll show it to you how to do stuff in, you know, the actual math part. Okay. So do you have this um, PowerPoint? You know, slides? I'm just going to keep talking while you type uh, type up things. Okay, so for the people who don't know how to get the slides, these slides, the link is always going to be up here. I'm just going to do a demo. Julie, you know this already, but for the people who are going to be watching the uh, live session. So click here, and they will go to my uh, Google Drive, Google Docs. And then you click on the MAT 1402, that's your general education course number, so click on there. And it'll take you to my folder here. So every week I have a PDF for you. For now I have on, only three, but I'll add it on as the week goes. So the slides come from the textbook, but they're pretty long, it's like 90 slides. So I trimmed it to what you need to do the assignments and then to do the um, to understand the material for the week. So it's not long. I I shown it for you. So I have it for module one, module two. For module three, it's more math intensive. So I'll do a little demo when it comes to module three. But for most of the for for the most part, you're going to be doing the PDF. You just click on it, and there's a little down arrow up here. So you can click on it, and it'll download it for you. So so every week you might want to come here and then just go to my folder and just download it so you have it for yourself. Okay, so this is my meeting um, link. So moving on. So you're okay with how to turn in assignments. If you have any questions for the people who are watching this, just let me know if you have any questions about doing assignments or turning in assignments. I'll help you with that. Okay. So module one is about probability. So there's a lot of text, but I have you read all these things. And if you have any questions, um, you can always ask me. So Julie, I know you say you read them, but just, just reading it, do you have any quick questions or do you need more time to kind of understand the materials? I mean, I don't expect you to understand everything on the first try, but do you have any uh, quick questions or? Okay, so that sounds good. The only thing I want to mention to you for this week is the last slides, last two slides. 
where it's talking about the uh, permutation and then a uh, combi uh, combination. So you can do permutation and the combination in your calculator. Um, there's a button for it. Since um, different have di different people have different calculators, I'm gonna do my demo in Excel most of the time because everybody has access to Excel. So if you have any question, if you have any trouble doing permutations or combinations, here's how you do it. So permutation and combination is just a just a way of um, what's it counting things. The difference between permutation and the combination is that the, for the permutation, the order matters. The combination, the order does not matter. So for example, um, deck of cards. If you have say ace, jack, queen, king, that's considered to be uh, one hand. For example, if it's a combination, because it doesn't matter if you have a ace, jack, queen, king in any order. But for the permutations, for example, ace, jack, queen, king is different from king, queen, jack, ace. Those are considered to be two different hands. So if the order matters, you do permutation. And if the order does not matter, you do a combination. And the formula for that is here, if you were to do it by hand in your calculator. The explanation is called a uh, factorial. So if you don't know how to use factorial in your calculator, you might want to look it up. I'm going to show you how to do this in Excel. Here's an example. The combination is the shorthand is NCR, so C is the capital, like a big letter, and then N and R are subscripts. Same thing for the permutation. If you had to do combination where N is 20 and then R is 6, so that's 20 goes here and 6 goes here, you just type in in Excel, equal sign, C O M B I N, and then first number to N, and then 6. Close parentheses, press enter. You get this number, 38,760. If you're doing the permutation, it's going to be P-E-R-M-U-T, in this case, 10 comma 3, close parentheses, 720. So that's how you do permutation and combination in Excel, or you can use your calculator. So the last thing I want to mention is how to do the assignment. So you can do, um, type it in, in here. Or if you want to do this assignment in Excel, you can do that as well. Or if you're going to do half in Microsoft Word and half in Microsoft Excel, that's OK, too. I'll take you any, any ways you want to submit your assignments. So it doesn't have to be Microsoft Word. Um, you can do it in Excel however you want to do it. So it's kind of short, but that's all I have for today. Do you have any questions, Julie? Thanks for coming, though. <laughs> At least one person showed up. OK. So for the first week, I'm having the uh, this session on Wednesday night. But starting next, next week, I'm going to have it on Monday nights um, so that if anybody has any anybody have any issues that's due the assignment you know any issues with the assignment that's due on Sunday, I'm making it okay to wait till Monday night. So if you don't if you're stuck on the assignment, same time five thirty. So if you're stuck on the assignment on Sunday, you don't want to turn it in. And you can wait till Monday night, Monday evening. Come to my session, ask me questions. And then you can turn in the assignment if you need to. So starting next week, it's going to be Monday night at 5.30 to 7, depending on how long people want to stick around. But I'll start at 5.30. And uh, that's for the rest of the week, or so the rest of the quarter. OK, so any questions on that? I only did it Wednesday, because if I did Monday night the first week, people don't show up. <laughs> so. Okay, I'm going to stop the recording.